Hello everyone, and welcome back to Equinox, where we are watching a beautiful new woodland begin to take root and take life. Look at this! I'm finally starting to figure it out. You place down exactly the right trees. In this case, we wanted the elm trees and the buttercups, which would be much happier if they had less buttercups, but they will endure once their population evens out. And then with a little bit of time and a little bit of tweaking, because of the right plants chosen to spread the fertility of specific biomes, you end up changing the entire landscape and making room so that you can come on in and add to tomato plants, which actually, I suppose if we're going to add tomato plants, we might want to just go ahead and move our uh, very edible pink tomato plants, because why not? Because they're very expensive, that's why. Ah! Ah! You know what? We'll have normal tomatoes over here. <laughs> And we'll spread a pink tomato or two as time goes on. But let's put down a couple tomato plants because I just wanted to make a little tomato patch and I think that they're gonna be very happy down here. They should have a good altitude. The environment is slowly, slowly, but surely shifting over to woodland. There we go. And it's becoming less and less dry as the elm trees settle in. And the elm trees would actually be happy to create some ash trees if we make this area a little bit more woodlandy. So ferns would be for a forest biome. Uh, the brown rocks don't really do anything. And let's see, spreads forest biome on the heather. And whoops, the rosemary will spread forest biome. Oregano will actually spread woodland biome. So let's mix some oregano in here. That'll help us out. There we go. And we'll sprinkle some down by the edges as well. Nice. Okay. Hopefully that'll help out. And yeah, it looks like the tomato plant is becoming a much happier because we are finally making this more of a woodland space, which is very nice. All right. So tomatoes should be happy. How are my guinea pigs? Very important question. Doing good. It doesn't look like our berry bushes really want to spread around the place. Uh, oh, look at my guinea pigs eating all of the little apples. <laughs> Oh, I love them so much. I can't wait to turn them into squirrels. That's going to be adorable. But speaking of squirrels and speaking of happy boars, which by the way, we need to get that cedar tree up and going. Let's see if we can actually create a cedar tree by finding a tall enough tall tree. So we need to find trees that are very tall. Uh, we've been trying to breed up a very tall, tall tree for a while. And unfortunately, we just have not had very much luck. But let's come over here to this like 1.5 size tree. It needs to be at least 1.8. And let's modify it. Let's modify a few of them. So there, and then another 1.5er over here. And we'll selectively breed up all of its little seeds to hopefully, fingers crossed, lead the way to being able to have some very tall trees that we can turn into cedar trees. Hang in there, little guinea pigs. Oh, help, you're so cute. Is there a recent baby? How many generations have you guys had already? Like, we're at three there. Four here, holy moly. Okay, Hope, maybe I can do something really fun with you. Can I increase your speed? Oh my gosh, I can. <gasps> you guys, you guys, let's make Hope 20% faster. We should be able to notice that if her children are like really, really fast. So let's, let's call her um, Hope Leaf. Maybe? And then we should get an alert if she happens to pass away. Like our poor blue ducks last time. I still can't believe we lost out on our blue ducks. Yes! This tall tree is tall enough. It can turn into a cedar tree. We are on it, guys. We're gonna have some happy boars here in no time. Also, I hope that we have enough brown sheep. I'm a little worried about that. There's a few of them. Oh, there's a teensy tiny little baby boar named Mindy. Aw, what color can I make the boars? Can I, let, let's make, oh, I can't make Mindy a different color yet. I just don't have enough discovery points. However, we might want to try getting more apples because as soon as we hit that apple a day completion, we get 500 or 5,000 discovery points. <gasps> and pigging out does the same thing. Have a guinea pig eat 30 potatoes. The guinea pigs would love to eat some potatoes. So it's up for, to you to provide some. They don't want to just eat 
They don't want to eat just the plants though. They want to eat the potatoes themselves. They may need another animal to dig them up first. <gasps> that sounds so cool. Oh my gosh. We probably want to get like so many different. Oh, and the sheep eating the berry bushes will unlock a whole bunch of new stuff too. What? I didn't even notice all of this before. And the, the wild boar will open up the bird in the hand. <gasps> you guys, this is gonna be awesome. We have so much happening all of a sudden. Okay, we wanna make the boars happy. We don't have potatoes to make the guinea pigs happy yet. Now the berry bushes, what makes a berry bush happy? They wanna be in forest or woodland and they want sheep to be eating their berries. Hmm, is this forest or woodland? This is kind of more grassland. And over here is more woodland. If it's next to like some of these trees. Let's add in, what about over here? Kind of more grassland. But if the grass tuft dies and I put down buttercups over here, then that should, now it's woodland. And now I can come over and grab a berry bush or two. They're very expensive, unfortunately. So hopefully, yeah, will they be happy here? Oh, they like to have, I think they like to have small herbivores around, maybe? They dislike large rocks. Oh, and they prefer to be lower down, phooey. Okay, no, 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 they're, they're at the right altitude. Good altitude. They have a disliked species nearby. Oh, is it this rock? They don't like this rock. <laughs> they very much, they have a personal grudge. Look at that, it was a personal grudge against that rock. All right, well, I took care of it. I took care of it. And then we wanna have the sheep eat these berries and that will help us actually get the merry berry uh, aspiration and open up an entire new biome so we can start a jungle somewhere. All right, there we go, Rocket. Oh my gosh, his name is Rocket. His name is literally Rocket. His speed is 5.7. Ah, so he's a bit faster. We increased it by 20%. Look at him go. I can't believe his name is Rocket because we increased his speed. Rocket, I love you. Can I make your children a different color so I know how to find you? Um, Like white? No, I can't. It's just too expensive. I could make them gray. You know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to make it. Rocket is hopefully going to carry on his increase in speed as well because we can give him another jump up in speed. And so his children, Rocket's prodigy, will hopefully be very speedy little brown or uh, gray guinea pigs that we can consider to be like, um, we could consider them to be like little mice or something. All right, meanwhile over here, berry bushes, you're gonna need to grow, you know. Uh, oh, I think you're gonna be unhappy from all this grass though. Let me remove some of those. Kind of pull that back a little bit and maybe help out with the whole woodland tone by adding in a elm tree, which stabilizes woodland, if I remember correctly. And we'll remove this birch tree, it's old anyway. Oh wait, species evolved! Cedar! Do we have cedar? <gasps> I think we have cedar! I think it's gonna be very happy over here, if I remember right. No, it's very unhappy here. It wants to be in a forest near flowers. Okay, so it wants to be near forest. Wait, this is forest. Why are you unhappy? You're got plenty of space. Altitude poor. Okay, what height do you need to be at? It needs to be below 20. Oh no, okay, that's gonna be a little tricky here, but just a little bit. I just need to scoot you down. Oh no, I don't have enough. My cedar! Hang in there, cedar! Like, go apples, go! If I had more apples, then we- yes, the apple a day just came through. We can move our cedar down here. And now it is thrilled. Yes! You guys, we're gonna have such happy boars. So if the boars really like cedar, we're gonna have to keep them kind of down here, it seems. And if cedar really likes, what does cedar really like again? Forest, then we wanna keep the forest spreading over here. And if we wanna spread forest, one of the best things to do that are tall trees and tall trees and rosemary spread forest the best. Yeah, you can see some of them will spread the biome and some of them like the oak tree just kind of exist. They don't really do much. Uh, and sage also spreads the forest biome. So let's grab a tall tree 
Or maybe, actually, can we grab a cedar tree yet? <gasps> Cedars spread the forest biome. They will help take care of themselves. Yes. Let's get those going. And hopefully things will go well. Uh, yay, we just got the apple achievement again. Come on, forest biome. And we'll want to get another cedar tree up there to hopefully be quite happy. And then let's get the rosemary spreads forest. Rosemary spreads forest. So we'll put down lots of those over here. There we go. And then what else spreads forest? Let's see. Oh, that's right. You can actually come over here and you can say spread forest. That's so much easier. I keep forgetting I can do that. And Heather will spread forest. That would be so lovely. So let's put some Heather down. And that should spread the forest. So let's see what happens. Because now we have a whole bunch of cedar trees that should be pretty happy. Let's see. There, Yeah, there's a very happy cedar tree over there. And the apple trees prefer to be in the woodland, but they will put up with being in the forest as well. So I want to put an apple tree. All right, whoops, I don't want to spread. Ooh, the fern spreads the forest. I almost forgot about that. Nice. Let's get some ferns down there. And let's let everything just grow for a minute. There. And we might be able to get birds soon. Also, let's get rid of these grass tufts if we can. There we go. To encourage the forest and the woodland to grow. And the grass really does seem to be crowded out lately. So it seems if you have an established biome, even the grass will stay out of the way, basically. Uh, there we go. And let's spread some more with another cedar tree over here. All right. Wow, the cedar trees take a long time to grow, don't they? And the heather is really happy to grow and really happy to help spread. So I think when we're trying to spread the forest specifically, uh, get out of there, grass. We should probably reach for heather is what we should do. All right, let's get rid of all of this grass. We don't want any of it here. Out you go, out you go. And let's see if we can get birds. I really want to try now. I want to try to make a whole bunch of happy boars so that we can get birds. And then I want to check in on Speedy's children because I think that's going to be amazing. <laughs> uh, all right, let's see. And let's come. The heather is amazing at spreading this biome. So we'll put a whole bunch of heather down here. And maybe a tall tree or two. Well, I really want more apple trees because the faster, boom, 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 we get those apples going the better off we are. So they're a fantastic investment because as they grow later on, you'll get that apple a day, boom, and you'll be able to turn around and put more apple trees down. And they're okay over here, right? Oh, it's so happy. The happiest apple trees to one day make the happiest of happy boars. Look at this. And meanwhile, down there, it looks like the tomatoes aren't really spreading, spreading, but they're at least down there. Yeah, there's a few of them. And over here, where are my guinea pigs? <gasps> Rocket! Oh my gosh, he had a child named Lightning and Finega. Now we've got little gray guinea pigs running around. I keep thinking they're rocks, actually. Uh, is that all my guinea pigs? Aw, I need more guinea pigs. I definitely need more guinea pigs. All right, we're putting down more guinea pigs. <laughs> They breed very quickly, but apparently they're not with us for terribly long. Uh, happiest in grassland, forest, and woodland with herbs and flowers to eat. Let's put down like a few populations over here and see if they flourish. I get nervous sprinkling them out like that. Uh, and we also need to make sure that we can turn these guinea pigs into squirrels before too long. Look at them chase each other. Oh, they're so cute. Uh, because we need nut trees! Sycamore, help me! <laughs> That's right, the sycamore needs the, the snapdragon. All right, all right, all right. I think that this should now be a paradise for the boars. Who, by the way, have started to move over in a different direction. Um, and they're pretty unhappy about life, actually. They're like, this is, I'm, I'm old. I'm old and cranky. And I don't have a cedar tree, says Mindy. <laughs> all right, well, hang in there. Uh, and moving you would be a little too expensive, I'm afraid. I'm gonna move the youngest of you. Shiner, prepare for a new life. 
Over here. Where you should be. Getting there, getting there. Getting there. Oh, what else does it want? Oh, oh, oh. It wants stones! We can manage this! I can manage stones! And there's snow rocks. We still have so much we haven't unlocked. Boom, boom, boom. Sprinkle some stones around. And Shiner is the happiest! Look at him go! He's eating a little of everything. He is content. And now he just wishes that he had some family to share this contentment with. So, let's see if we can get a few more wild boars. Alright, hang in there, Shiner. We're gonna get you some wild boars. I knew that those apple trees would be happy over there. I want to get more apple trees put down. Because this is just like perfect area for apple trees. Alright, Shiner. We're gonna have one, two, three, four. And then we need five and six. And I'm gonna probably need more food. I might want to invest in more apple trees, actually. Alright, there we go. Got an apple a day achievement. Boom, boom. Hopefully they'll be- yeah, they're gonna be very happy there. Yay, look at all the baby boars! And we're gonna get birds! We are gonna get birds, guys! It is gonna happen. Let's add in another baby boar. Come on. They've got cedar trees. They've got apple a day. Yes! Yes! All right, we did it! We got the This is Boring Wild Boars with 75% happiness, and we have now unlocked a bird in the hand and forest flora and fauna. No wonder these little boars are skipping with joy. Shiner, what a wonderful life you have. Is there some way I can... I, I want to give him, like, some sort of special mutation of some kind. Maybe... You know what? He's happy. So let's increase his bounce power by 20% and maybe his children will be extra bouncy baby boars thrilled to be in their little apple forest over here so there we go okay all right what is a bird in the hand I gotta know I gotta know oh and we have almost already completed getting fir trees and the potato task we're getting closer to the potato task so that we can feed the guinea pigs the potatoes oh my gosh and bird in the hand fully built nest areas have a fully built and filled nest of eggs in the world and it unlocks jungle grass use the chicken to breed the sparrow species once you've got some sparrows make sure they're living near some suitable trees for nest building trees with long life length and plenty of branches work best after a while, the birds will start to build a nest. <gasps> That's amazing! That is absolutely amazing, and it's all because of these fantastic little boars. I am so happy. All right, guys. If you could, please leave a like to toss an apple to these wonderful boars as we look out over the waves of greenery and the hills of our land and we celebrate the fact that we have guinea pigs and we're about to get birds and we're about to finally start unlocking more biomes. And if you have not yet subscribed, do please consider joining <laughs> doing so to join in. Join in on all of this fun and thousands of other adventures. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.